All right, everybody, I am in Wichita, Kansas. I'm enjoying this peaceful sight on the river. This is the Little Arkansas. I'm standing on this really amazing suspension bridge. Let's see if I can get a shot of it. Which leads to this amazing statue called the Keeper of the Plains. One of Wichita's landmarks. Maybe it's best landmark, but it is awesome no matter what. It was built in 1974. It's 44 feet tall. And uh, they put it right at the confluence of this, the little Arkansas, and then that one, the Arkansas River. Yeah, it's really beautiful here. Peaceful and quiet. It's a Saturday morning about 9.30. I tried to get here a little early so I could beat the crowds. There's downtown there. I'm going to get out on foot and explore that. Our hotel is actually right there. And uh, man, it is awesome. Right here on the river. They've got this river developed all the way down. And you can kayak on it or get on a, I guess a canoe it looked like in a couple places. A lot of bicycling and joggers because they've got walkways developed on each side. The sun's uh, kind of to my left here, so it's not giving me a, or giving you as good a look as I would like to. But anyway, I'm gonna walk down to this statue and get a closer look. So there he is rising above me. Really nice place they built here. See, there's the uh, bridge I was just standing on. We got waterfalls around it. And of course, again, this is where the Little Arkansas runs into the Arkansas River. Now you can see these rings here. They put on a fire show every night. It's supposed to be really cool, so I'm gonna to try to get out here one of the nights that we are here, take a look at it. Especially since we're so close, we're basically walking distance from here. But yeah, it's really nice. Peaceful. I don't know if you can hear it, they've got some Native American music playing here. Anyway, yeah, it is awesome here. But now I'm going to head into downtown and uh, see what we can find there. Alright, I am out on foot now in downtown Wichita. And this is the first thing I see. This beautiful old theater. The Orpheum, am I pronouncing it right? But uh, yeah, it's a performing arts theater built in 1922 in what they call the atmospheric style, which is uh, designed to evoke being in a different place. It's a beautiful building. Still roaming around downtown, just taking a look. Ran across this interesting little statue there's no plaque, so I'm not sure what it means, but it looks like a little girl and a horse with her dog. Or maybe that's her pony, huh? Pretty cool, though. I like that. Let me back up a little. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I'm standing underneath uh, this beautiful old building. It's called Broadway Plaza. Yeah, sadly, it's not open. It's boarded up. Let's see what it looks like inside. It looks like uh, they're about to restore it though, which is good. It's a beautiful old building. It's a quaint downtown. Uh, I'm on a street called Chisholm Trail. I wonder if that is the right one. If a uh, local watches this, fill us in because uh, that's, that's pretty nifty if it is. But yeah, the downtown is, it's full of nice old buildings. Interesting architecture. Like that one right there. A little bit of new mixed in. It's a little quiet right now, but that's because uh, it's about 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. on a Saturday. 
and it's already 95 <laughs> but I'm um, seeing some pretty cool stuff like this here Athena looks like this is being refurbished as well oh no it's open never mind oh that's cool that's a great old building looks like marble uh, on the exterior here huh, okay anyway I'm just uh, making my way down um, this downtown street looks like it's kind of the main street it's really cool see right there in the middle of frame yeah that's our hotel <laughs> we're right in downtown at a Drury Plaza anyone who follows me knows that that is our favorite hotel chain and they had one right here in downtown so awesome so I I didn't even have to get in the car I just uh, got out and walked came up to this end and I'm just walking back gonna get out and explore the city a little bit more here in a bit but I'm gonna tell you about the place first Wichita in the last census had 397,000 people which is bigger than I thought it would be um, met, uh, metro population is nearly 650,000 again bigger than I thought it would be it's got a few claims to fame Wyatt Earp the legendary Wyatt Earp of OK Corral fame was a police officer here at one time uh, who else was here oh this Wichita was the birthplace of Pizza Hut and I believe the original Pizza Hut is here I'm gonna try to find it the very first building it is also the birthplace of White Castle now that surprised me uh, I thought White Castle was from the east I don't know why no it is uh, founded right here in Wichita Kansas in the heart of the country oh wow look at this building this artwork is on look at all this hmm looks like people just get chalk and right away it chalk walks huh interesting building see the windows are boarded up but they have painted parts and other things that is interesting huh all right then I'm gonna head this way there's a few abandoned areas here in downtown just walked up to this one I'm thinking this was maybe a bank I'm not sure I'm gonna go to the front here and look I just <laughs> walked up to here yeah yeah it's interesting down here got a little bit of writing on the wall here I can't have a runny nose for very long because my snot keeps freezing uh, and that was written six years ago clearly on a very cold day and they do have uh, some pretty good winters here in Wichita and uh, it gets hot in the summer <laughs> it's hot today Whew. it's in the 90s mid 90s already it's 10 o'clock maybe yeah this is the building it's a pretty big one not sure what it is but yeah it is boarded up a little bit quiet over here and there's Chisholm Trail over there in the street Now one of the uh, quirky landmarks of Wichita is the Wichita Troll. He's not easy to find. I'm standing right next to him. You have to figure out where he is. 
then you look in these grates. There he is, right there. <laughs> yeah. One of the quirky things that they've done here. Let me see if I can zoom on him a little bit. But yeah, there he is. The uh, Wichita Troll. <laughs> so cool, huh? They put it under this grate. Now I'm going to show you exactly where he is in case you come to Wichita yourself and you want to find him. I'll show you some of the landmarks nearby that I have already showed you. You may be able to make out that pedestrian bridge right in front of me. There he is. You remember that statue, right? First thing I came to when I got here, Keeper of the Plains. Of course, there's the Little Arkansas and the Arkansas. Really beautiful here. And uh, that is downtown over there. And right directly in middle frame is our hotel, the Drury. All right, I'm driving into Old Town Marketplace. It is a warehouse district that they've converted into bars and restaurants and shopping. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here because uh, a lot of cities have these. So it's not particularly unique in that sense, but they are always pretty cool to see. It's quiet right now, obviously. It's about uh, what, 11.30 on a Saturday, but it does get busy at night. But yeah, this is Old Town, Wichita. One of the primary entertainment districts of the city. It's pretty cool. You can see where I am as I drive out of it. That's downtown right there. So it's just on the edge of downtown. Now I had mentioned earlier that Pizza Hut started here, right here in Wichita. This is the original Pizza Hut. I'll back up a little. Yeah, it started here in Wichita. Now this is not the original location. They've moved the building onto uh, Wichita State University. Uh, I'm on the campus now. But yeah, this is the original Pizza Hut. It's actually next to the Pizza Hut Museum. <laughs> but here it is, uh, Pizza Hut. Yeah, Pizza Hut number one, first opened at Bluff and Kellogg Streets, June 15, 1958. Oh, you makes sense now. This is why it's at uh, Wichita State University. Two former WSU students borrowed 600 to open this first Pizza Hut. Their corporation grew to become the world's largest pizza chain and sold to PepsiCo in 77 for 300 million dollars. That's quite a return on 600, isn't it? That's amazing. Now it's Saturday, so the building's not open. Normally we could go in. We could probably peek in the window though here. Yeah, it looks like a museum, doesn't it, on the inside? But anyway, yeah, I wanted to come here because uh, I think everybody in the United States just about has had Pizza Hut pizza. Uh, has, I'll spit that out, has had Pizza Hut pizza. Yeah, so there it is. The original Pizza Hut number one. All right, I'm uh, out and about in the neighborhoods now. I'm going to get some footage. Uh, <laughs> I spotted this right off the bat. Wichita Chicken Fried House. It's um, closed, obviously. Whew, that's pretty bad, isn't it? A lot of trash piled up there. This looks like it was probably a cool place at one time. Wichita Chicken. Yeah, you hate to see places uh, like this. Local places go out of business, but there you see a Popeye's 
right there in the middle of frame. Hard to compete with Popeyes. Small mom and pop places. Anyway, I'm on uh, North Hillside as I cruise around some of the neighborhoods in Wichita. Uh, what is this? The Northwest area of the city. Anyway, this is the part of the video where I'm going to just drive around the neighborhoods near downtown. Take a look. So uh, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm still north of uh, downtown, heading uh, west. See Cargill's over there. Looks like I'm heading into more residential again. All right, I am in South Wichita now. Kind of roaming around the neighborhood here. Got a couple of um, Mormon missionaries hard at work. That was a site that you saw often <laughs> in Salt Lake City. Taking a look at some of the home, the homes here, this neighborhood. Huh. Yeah, still in South uh, Wichita. Had an abandoned house there, it looks like. There's a stucco house. That is an interesting looking home. It's got a mix of stucco and siding, probably vinyl siding. A lot of 70s era ranch style homes here. See a lot of these in Texas, this style of house. Yeah, this is an interesting neighborhood. Big tall trees. Classically beautiful homes. An older neighborhood. It's well taken care of. Love neighborhoods like this. Look at that house. Looks like something out of Hansel and Gretel, doesn't it? That is an interesting looking home. I mean, goodness gracious. That is some kind of house, isn't it? And it just keeps going on and on here. Here's the garages, finally. <laughs> wow. Yeah, look at that one. That is a monster house. Wow. There's the one across the street. It's got a separate house for a garage. How, how awesome is that, huh? All right, I'm heading up South Broadway now. Got some boarded up houses and really old motels. Wow. And look at that big, huge cross right there. Wow, that's big. There's buildings up ahead. It looks like I am uh, approaching downtown. Okay, I'm heading back into downtown now. So I'm going to go to the hotel, rest a bit. Then the wife and I are going to go to that uh, Keeper of the Plains statue again and see the uh, Ring of Fire show that it has every night.
we are going to go to a dive bar that's held in high regard here in the city called Kirby's. So uh, hang tight, that's all coming up next. All right, we are gonna go into Kirby's now. We have been told that this is the, or one of the best places in town, a true dive bar while well, you're looking at it. <laughs> that is a dive bar if there ever was one. Voted best dive bar in Kansas. Kind of makes sense though, because it's across the street from Wichita State University, which is right there. So we're gonna go in and check it out. Yeah, we're inside this place. It is crazy looking in here. Very small. So all my, all my dog needs is to look out the window. Here, so this is your bar. They get mad if we uh, take anything other than quarters. They sell chips if you get bunches. <laughs> yeah, there. This is a dive bar, no question. But it's really cool. My wife is having her uh, Jack Daniels. I'm having a beer. <laughs> That's kind of high for PBR. Though. <laughs> Honestly, you can usually get PBR for a dollar. Three fifty. That's for the first, and then you refill it for two fifty. Yeah, and then they got this earplugs. I guess if the music gets too loud. I'm huh? sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool place. What? What I do? Oh, they got reading here in case you uh, get bored you need to read a book. I know, what's in the books? <laughs> Some of them are, uh, that's cool. Many of them are related to picture books. Like, oh, they got all these, like, old photos from, like, picture books? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what they call those. My brain's fried. I don't think I, I like, actually <laughs> laid down to go to sleep until like 7 30 this morning. Life of a bartender. This is where they keep the PBR a keg in a bucket, <laughs> in a trash keg. Reminds me of my college days. Like at their, uh, yeah, that was, I was at work in last night. Just looking at some of the decorations here. Old school bar crowd here. That's cool. You look like Tom Arnold. Say it. I want to. I want to. Just for laughs. You never know the kind of They would have him in there. This guy says I look like Tom Arnold. You do not look like Tom. I don't look like Tom Arnold. I would not be married to Tom Arnold. But he thinks I look like Tom Arnold. He's kind of rich though, so I might be. Well, there you go. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't mean to start no Oh, no, you're fine. You didn't. No, 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 we're, we're good, man. I would not be married. Yeah, this guy's crazy. All right, we are leaving now. It was quite the experience, let me tell you. Isn't that right, huh? Exactly. I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> you didn't hear what I said? I said, uh, very interesting place. Yeah. The <laughs> There's exterior again the with the beer there, sign. The people in there are very original. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Number one dive bar in Kansas. Oh, there it is. We've been there. All right, we're at the Keeper of the Plains statue because uh, we're going to see that ring of fire that's supposed to supposed to be really awesome but one of the things I read about Wichita is the incredible sunsets and they weren't kidding it's really beautiful well the wife wants to actually go over there so that's what we're gonna do because as all men know if the wife wants something well you better give it to her yeah what do you think yeah one more shot from up here it's gorgeous huh the sun has uh, just dropped below the horizon. Got some purple in the sky, and of course all these geese. Beautiful sight. The bridge is lighting up. Yeah, this is awesome. This is something Wichita does really well. All right, there's the uh, little Arkansas. Pouring into the regular Arkansas. Yeah, so beautiful here. Oh, my wife's goofing off. I don't know what she's doing. 
You can hear that music though, huh? Can you hear that music? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to. Oh, you're right. There's steam coming up from it. Is it hot? It's cold. Oh, it's cold. Okay. Well, it's cool. It's cool. Okay. Interesting. really interesting. I'm just looking at these geese. It's a fascinating. I guess they're trying to catch fish. I don't know. That's why they hang out here right where it falls. That's cool. Got a bunch of people here ready to see the fire show. The ring of fire. Another shot of downtown Wichita. Ooh, so the ring of fire has begun. You can feel that heat. Wow. That's the statue right there. It feels like a furnace here. <laughs> We're gonna have to step back a little. We decided to come out on the pedestrian bridge. It's a better view from up here. It's a great show. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, you should. Does she have a name or he? Is it he or I think she? it's a he. Keeper of the Plains. That's all they call it. They, or that's what they call it. Big statue. What is she called? It is. This is awesome. And it feels amazing right now because of the breeze blowing. Yeah, the weather's perfect. Awesome. This is a really beautiful part of Wichita. Unexpected, really. I had no idea that they had this. It's worth, it's worth coming here just to see this. Now let's do some sound. All right, everybody. We're still in Wichita kind of outside of town. This is the Christ Lutheran Church. Don't be uh, fooled by its <laughs> calm looking demeanor. This was the epicenter of some dark, violent crime. Well, not the church itself, but there's a guy who was the president of this very church, right, hun? Yeah, and he terrorized Wichita for 30 years. Yeah. He, uh, finally caught, he was finally caught in 2005. Yeah. His name is Dennis Rader, but everybody knows him as BTK. That's right. The famous serial killer known as BTK operated in this church. He was the president. He led a double life. See this picture? Yeah, look at that. Looks like a normal guy, doesn't it? No, he was an evil, evil killer. Yeah, he began in 1974. He killed four members of the Otero family. He killed again in 1974. He killed twice in 77, twice in 86, and his last kill was in 91. And of course, BTK stands for Bind, Torture, Kill, and that's what he does to all his victims. Yeah, he operated for many years, taunted the police. They couldn't figure out who it was. This is a guy who liked to dress up in women's clothing. He was married with two kids. Yeah, but he wasn't a typical serial killer. Like he took a lot of time between kills. He was very he's very controlling of his of his behavior in that way. Most serial killers they'll escalate their kills, but he mm -hmm. didn't because he would take a lot of time in between. He was known as a power control killer, which yeah. means he got most of his pleasure from stalking the victim and binding and torturing them rather than the kill itself. For him, it was more about the process. Well, that's why he got away with it so, <laughs> for so long, just because he planned it methodically. Oh yeah, he planned it very methodically. Clearly the guy was a real weirdo, <laughs> but people couldn't tell. And by the way, can yeah, you guys tell? Annoying. Can you guys tell my wife loves true crime? <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to do a little pan around so you can see the neighborhood. It's kind of in rural Wichita. I mean, we're out on the edge of the city. Uh, we're near, is it Park City, right? Yeah, he committed some of the crimes there. But he finally got caught because he was 
stupid, even though he clearly was very smart, something yeah. stupid is, uh, he did something stupid and that's why he was caught. Yeah, yeah. well, he was dormant for many years and mm -hmm. finally in 2004, the Wichita Eagle, they did a piece about the 30 year anniversary of when BTK started to kill. And finally, he, he taunts the, well, he asks the police, because to him it was a cat and mouse game, and he really thought the police were going to quote unquote play fair, so I guess it was a game to, it was a game to him, and he asked them, he asked them if he sent them a floppy disk, would they be able to track him? So, of course, the police, they, course, they the send police a message, no. they send a message back saying, oh, it'll be okay, we, we won't be able to, we can't tell where the floppy came from. Mm -hmm. So. Dennis Rader, BTK, he thinks that there's no way the police are going to lie to him because he thinks it's a game for them as well. Yeah. So he sends the floppy. And where did they trace the floppy back to? This church. This church. Right this here. This church. And the username was Dennis, president of the church. Dennis Rader, yep. And that's when he was caught. Yep. So yeah, he gets convicted, 10, 10 life sentences. Mm -hmm. You know, he made a deal, I guess. I don't know if they were... I don't know if they were going to give him the death penalty or not. I don't know if they were thinking of that. But anyway, he made a deal and he got 10 life sentences. Yeah. So, life without parole in... Uh, yeah, he's right here in Kansas. Changes. He's in Kansas. El Dorado. El, El Dorado. Dorado Correctional Facility. Yeah, facility. near El Dorado, Kansas, which is about 30, 30 minutes from here. So, yep, so there it is. <laughs> the story of one of the most notorious serial killers in the history of mankind. Caught because he was stupid. Right here in Wichita, Kansas. All right, well, that's it, guys. Uh, that'll be it for this video. And, uh, well, be looking for the next one.